Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series, facilitated by renowned educators. ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. Welcome, everyone. This is Steve Meising, your host of the IC webinar series, where we bring in special guests each and every week. Today we have Tony Hansen. Tony Hansen will be talking about how to gain from market movements using the ICFX options. And Tony is a president and co-founder of Baptiste Group and runs the popular Trading from Main Street Group.com. So I'd urge you to go check it out. She is a, a very respected technical analyst, and um, she's she teaches other analysts on how to look at the market. So really pleased to announce Tony Hansen. Uh, Tony has been with us many times before, and she always, always brings tremendous insight to the market. So Tony, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Steve. I'm glad to be here. Um, I'd like to talk today, for those of you that are new and haven't attended one of these before, I want to let you know that the series of classes that I've given for ISE over the past year, they really build one upon each other. So if you have time, I would really suggest you check out their archives, which is it's just a really simple URL. You just go to ise.com backslash archives. And starting on April 1st of 2008, you'll see that I've given a lecture about every two months or so since then. And what I like to do with each of my classes is that I will take some of the stuff that we were looking at in the previous class and just show how it has followed through, how the tools and techniques that I use will really give you very accurate ability for predicting where the markets are going to go next. Um, <clears throat> For those of you that are new to using the options as opposed to regular FX, let me show you something here quick. Basically, when you're looking at 4S, 4X options, your dollar is your base currency. So when you're looking at pulling up charts of them, you would use, for instance, let's say we're going to look at the euro compared to the dollar. Well, then you would use the symbol EUI. And ISE.com actually has uh, live charts. Well, I don't know. If, are they live, Steve? They're 20 minutes delayed. So, minutes you know, delayed. but they're good enough for a technical analyst, most of us anyway. Yeah, I, for most part, when I'm looking at Forex, I'm looking longer term. I'm looking at weekly and monthly setups. I know a lot of you guys are day trading Forex, too. I tend to, when I'm day trade, I tend to stick more to the e-minis. But, you know, every once in a while, I'll find a great setup on, like, a 60-minute as I'm just scanning through at night. So I'll use it for that, too. But um, for the most part, if you're just, you know, looking at longer term, holding for a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, then that would be a great place to check out. It's uh, ISE com backslash quotes and this is just the list of the symbols that you would put in for the options <clears throat> for those of you that want a copy of this PowerPoint presentation um, just send me well actually don't worry about it um, Steve usually sends me a list of those who attended so what I'll do is I will just make sure that I send out a copy to you guys so if you'd like a copy of the PowerPoint as long as you're registered don't worry about it I will get you sent out a copy um, back in November of last year, I gave a presentation at the Expo in Vegas. And the topic of that presentation was, you know, what's next for the U.S. dollar? We were looking at where was the dollar heading, how does it compare using like, the FX strategies, FX option strategies. And I want to take a look at some of what we were looking at back then and show you how that has developed over time and how I use the tools and techniques that I do for helping to give you an idea, not just of where price action is going, but also, as you guys know, for those of you that trade options, how long it's going to take to get there. So that's very important, not only when you're looking at it, and options in particular. I mean, if you're just trading straight out, then you know you might be able to deal with the fact that it takes twice as 
as long as you expect it before it hit a target. If you want to get the best out of options, of course, you want to have a good idea of how long it will take before it hits certain strike prices. <clears throat> So we're going to look at a little bit of that. The first couple of charts that I'm going to show you are charts that we looked at in that presentation back in November. And this first one here, this is just the U.S. dollar index because I was just looking at basically, you know, where is the dollar heading? And when we were going into November, the dollar itself, well, a number was along with a number of the currencies, we're at strong support and resistance levels on the monthly time frames. And what you had was very sharp momentum acceleration into the highs beginning around the start of October or so. And then that started to shift, and we started to see a slowdown in the momentum as it came up into this previous high. So. When I gave the class back in November, we were looking at strategies for timing a reversal or a correction on the dollar, which if you flip it over, you're looking at you know, some of the other currency pairs. You had some buy setups at that same time. In this case, one of the main strategies we were looking at is one that I call a 2T. For those of you that are familiar with the term 2B, um, shoot. I'm having a memory lapse for the person that, that named the 2B. But basically what it is is you have a singular high, and then you'll have a slightly higher high, or in the case of a, lo of a bottoming pattern, a slightly lower low. I like to think in terms of 2T being like a two tops and 2B being two bottoms. So kind of differentiated, added an additional terminology there. But what it is is it's a form of a trap pattern where Usually, you're going to have some slower momentum. Well, ideally, you'll have slower momentum. Heading into a second high kind of traps people that are using a break of that previous high as their entry trigger. And so this was one of the main reversal patterns that we were looking at. All of them involved this slowing momentum and reversal coming off of it. And we were looking for a correction coming off of that back into this price zone in here. If you'd like to see um, a little bit more about that one, I'll be happy to send you guys that PowerPoint also. For anyone that wants to email me at uh, Tony at TonyHanson.com, and I'll be happy to send you uh, November's PowerPoint as well. What you can see is that the dollar index fell very sharply soon after I gave that presentation, where it fell very, very quickly right back into the target zone. And we were looking for that rapid correction, that rapid pullback. But we were also looking in our presentation for that rapid correction or rapid pullback to hold that zone and offer a strong reversal or a strong bounce back up into this zone of highs here. Because we were looking at more of a temporary correction, which can lead to a larger correction on the larger time frames. But what I want to talk about today was the tools that I used for being able to show people that this was the type of market action that we would see develop and see occur. So in today's session, I'm going to go through some of the more intricate details that led to this specific analysis, as well as look at where the dollar is, and as well as a couple of other currencies, and look at where it's most likely to head from this point in time. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.